Kia ora, uh, my name is Maru Nihoneho. I'm a games designer and developer, and I founded my company Metia Interactive um, with the goal to design games. However, I found that once I started developing games, that the power of the actual gaming platform is really great for educational purposes. It's a great way to learn without being taught. And that's mainly because it's games are interactive, they're fun, um, they're immersive, so you can get yourself into the game and not even feel like you're learning anything. And I thought that was the perfect platform to tell some of our Indigenous stories as well. That's a, that's a hard question, but it's an easy question, but it's a hard question because I'm inspired by lots of things, you know, and everything that inspires me or motivates me, I tend to put into my games. So, for example, um, I'm inspired by my culture. You know, I think we have beautiful stories to tell. Um, they're very authentic. Um, they come from a place which is very old. You know, they're just stories that have been handed down through generations, and they all have a meaning. All these stories have a meaning one way or another. I also think the beauty of our storytelling is quite unique. And when you combine that with gaming, you know, when you take a, an authentic story that comes from an iwi or a hapu and you put gameplay around it, it gives a real different experience than just listening to your story because it gives you the chance to interact with that story. And it also gives you the chance to make decisions that you do think about in your mind when you're listening to a story, like what if the character did this instead of that? You know, what would be the outcome? So I'm really inspired by my culture um, I'm inspired by wahine toa, or strong woman. Um, I find them very inspirational. I love what they stand for, what they represent. Um, I grew up with a very strong-willed mother um, and nannies and aunties and all of them. So for me, growing up around um, strong women um, really helped build my confidence as a young girl you know, because I didn't see any different. I just saw all these fabulous wahine in my life that have inspired me and encouraged me to move forward into the gaming world. I would tell my younger self to really embrace creativity. Uh, my mother used to always say to me, if you want something, make it or try and make it. And um, sometimes it was embarrassing because she'd there'd be a birthday party and I'd be like, mum, can I go and buy a present? And she'd be like, no, you can make one. And I remember at, at that time feeling really embarrassed because I'd be the only one turning up with a homemade card and, and a homemade something. And at that time, that was such a good thing for me because I so use it today. You know, I'm forever <laughs> making stuff or doing stuff or pulling something apart and trying to put it back together. So I would tell my very younger self to embrace the creativity more. I would also tell that my younger self to don't be so shy. And you know, I am a naturally shy person and I'd rather not talk if I don't have to. You know, I'm more of a listener, um, a wee bit of a daydreamer. And I would say that being shy was a little bit of a slowdown for me, you know, especially moving forward with gaming. But I realized quickly that if I don't put myself out there a bit more, then nothing is going to happen. So I really had to break a barrier within myself to really find that strength and that, I guess, that mo motivation to move forward. And don't be shy about it because in my mind, I'm not shy. You know, with my ideas and all the things that I have, I'm super, super confident that I can do this and I can do that. But sometimes... Um, especially in early years, I wouldn't show that. But as it turns out, it all worked out in the end anyway. Um, I'm making games. I'm doing what I love. I wish you so such great joy in what you're doing and happiness. And so that's amazing. And thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you. Thank you. It's been lovely chatting to you. I know you're recording. I hope you can edit this, can't you? Yeah, I can. Okay. Because my husband has just started the hairdryer. 
<laughs> One minute, please. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Summon, can you take out the recording, me, please? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>